The blind wedding. I got married in a dark room. My brother was the best man. He rushes in and starts stuffing his mouth with the wedding cake. It's not the reception yet, you fool. Anyway, I'm standing right close up to the anonymous bride and my friend Hans being the backup best man handed me the ring. I put the ring on her finger and the pastor asked us the stereotypical wedding questions. Both of us said yes and it was time for us to kiss each other. Right in the next scene, shit's going to get real, so I need some dramatic music to fit the feeling of it. Choir, please. Now, back to the story. As we were moving our faces closer, at last I got to see who I was going to be married to. When I saw the bride's face, I realised it was my clone. Now, a few years ago, I had cloned myself so I wouldn't have to work my ass off at college. Once I graduated, I let it go, thinking he could survive as the clone of a great man like me. I guess I was wrong as I was staring my enemy right in the face. So I told him, I'm the superior Michael Rosen here, and if you think I'm wrong, I'll show you up in a fight. So to this he said, you wanna want you want me mate, I'll show you who's the best Michael Rosen in the world. Activate the plum gun. So I said, your measly plum gun stands no chance against my chocolate cake powers. So I rushed over to the wedding cake and snatched some, then I stuffed it into the mouth, and like Popeye, I grew stronger. Get out of the way! Ow! So I returned to the wedding and I started poking my clone with my deadly finger. Get off me! That's my ear! Now, I thought he was out of the running, but as he craped his neck up, he said, I've got a point to prove you don't mess with me. At that, he stood up without his plum gun and shot me in the face. Ow! Then he grabbed me, strangled me, and asked any last words, bitch. And in my dying breath, I said, I never did like chocolate cake. And I just fell over and died. Do you know, people say to me, if that's true, how come you're here to tell the tale? Fair enough, and I'll tell you, it's because, luckily, my clone realised the irony in my last words. He knew the world would collapse if I weren't there to take back my sentence. So he rushed over to the science lab and cloned himself. And yes, this means I am the clone of a clone. You may ask, how come you remember this tale? And actually, um, I don't know. Rest.